does position matter? That is what we need to ask ourselves. Because what we don't know before, <coughs> that is when there was no era of technology. But now, when there's advancement in technology to so many things, does position matter? That is what we need to do because this is where the problem comes. I know the majority of you will be thinking that when Abyss is talking about position now, it's about sex, it's about man, it's about woman. No. The position I'm talking about is the fibroid position in a woman's womb. Because majority of women that are supposed to have removed fibroids when their age is still good for fertility. Women that are supposed to remove fibroids when they still have good chances of getting pregnant naturally. Somebody somewhere is telling them the fibroid is not in the womb. The fibroid, it is the outside of the womb. The fibroid is at the backyard of the womb. So they encourage them and convince them that they can get pregnant with that fibroid. Now, a woman who marries at the age of 25 is now 40. No pregnancy. The fibroid becomes big and bigger. Now, at age 40, when there's no serious chances of getting pregnant, Somebody now said, you need to remove it. Does position matter when you are talking about fibroids? Let me tell you, what matters in fibroid is the size of the fibroid, as far as I'm concerned. Anybody can come to this comment section and start putting something. What I know is, it is not about the position. It's about the size of that fibroid. Because when the fibroid is big, or the size is good enough to rest on the fallopian tube, then a woman will not get pregnant. That means, what am I talking about? Irrespective of the fibroid is seated in your womb. As long as you are going to lie down and sleep every night, that fibroid will lay on top of your fallopian tube. That is why I keep reminding all of you that when you remove fibroid, go and do HLG. So that you can confirm that your tube are still patent after removing fibroid. Because some of you ignorantly, you've destroyed your fallopian tube through fibroid that is laying on your fallopian tube every month. Because you said you want to use that fibroid to get pregnant because Somebody told you it is not inside the womb. Or somebody told you that they will give you something that will shrink the fibroid. My dear, position is no matter. But the size matters. If it is very small, no problem. But when the fibroid becomes something you are reading, 3.0 centimeter or 30 mm, I'm telling you, you need to remove that fibroid. Go and check the result in your hand. If the fibroid in your body reads 5.0 cm or close to 5.0 cm or 50 mm, then woman, go and remove it. Forget the position it is. Don't waste your time. Don't, that is why major people wasted their good fertility age and did not start removing fibroid at advanced age. That push them the site whereby getting pregnant becomes more difficult after removing fibroid. Position, as far as I'm concerned, does not matter because fibroid can lay on top of your fallopian tube because all these organs are inside your body. And when you sleep, they lay on top of each other. So fibroid is very close. Your uterus is very close to your fallopian tube, so fibroid can lay on them. My name is Woodrow Adikan in this summer. I'm a fertility scientist practicing at the Keja, Lagos State, Nigeria. I'm a fertility content creator and a brand influencer. Till I come your way next time, God is good.
Bye.